Hey, hey Libra, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your August 2023 career reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. These are general readings. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading or entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, Libra, I'm getting here this energy of making major decisions either in the recent past or in the present energy of August in order to build your affluence, in order to build your reputation, build a business, build your career, there's going to be major decisions. So it wouldn't surprise me to see possibly the lovers, two of pentacles, two of swords, two of wands. I'm getting a lot of twos here for you as well, but I feel like there is an opportunity to start over and you have it showing up here in the eggs. And it's not starting over from scratch. Some of you it could be, but I feel like there is a decision that is going to lead you towards towards a new beginning. So in the recent past here, you have the tree showing up, Libra. This is about financial growth, things coming to fruition, abundance, Whenever the tree shows up, it reminds me of the 10 of Pentacles. And I feel like you are creating a sense of stability within and it's showing up in the external world. This can be a family business, leaving a legacy behind. Some of you are getting down to your roots. What makes you tick? What are your skills? What are your talents? What do you wanna do for the remainder of your, your working life and some, right? How can you make your money work for you. So you may be asking yourself, Libra, the bigger questions. You want to work smarter, not harder. And I feel like you've been doing some deep introspection. You've been doing a lot of personal growth as well that it has been affecting your professional world. But I do feel here that there is some sort of news, a message, an invitation, or notification that comes in in the near future here that's going to allow you to move forward in a brand new direction. I'm getting that quite strongly. For those of you who have recently been hired or maybe you already have your own business or this could be a new opportunity that you said yes to in the recent past. I feel like this is going to bring in a lot of growth, a lot of abundance, but you're going to expand on it just like the the branches on a tree. There's expansion, there's growth, and I feel like it's unlimited, but some of you, it's untapped. You haven't even started to tap into the growth, and this is a really powerful time for, for you to branch off branch off literally here with the tree, expansion, growth. If you are in a position, an environment, a company, or a business where you feel like you've hit, <clears throat> excuse me, where you feel like you've hit a glass ceiling, there is a decision that you are going to make here in the near future that's going to set you on a whole new path to this new beginning, but it's not going to be a beginning where you you have to go backwards and it feels like you're taking five steps back. You've already done the work is what I'm hearing. So it will actually project you into more, uh, more abundance, more growth, more money, more finances. There's just a really beautiful shift that's happening here for you. It could even be around that 8-8 eight, eight portal in August. Now in the month of August, you have the eggs. This is all about starting over, saving up. Some of you may have had to put money towards maybe an item at home. It could be a furnace, it could be a lawnmower, it could be a vehicle, maybe even mortgage. Some of you may have made some extra payments or you may have struggled to keep up with a payment here. I do feel that you're getting back on track towards the end of August, even into September. I feel like you are shifting. There's a huge energy shift here. Now I'm getting 8-8 eight, eight for a lot of you uh, Librans out there is going to be a very, very powerful portal, a very, very deep activation. But I'm also getting here the 14th, the 17th, the 21st, and the 23rd. Those may be significant dates. You may want to jot that down on your calendar. Uh, it could be money manifesting days for you. It could be high vibrations. It could be the, dis the days that you make major decisions that are going to affect you now and long term. Now, Spirit wants you to know that you have the resources within and without, externally and internally. You have the, the helpful people, 
you have the knowledge, you have the education, you have the skills, the experience. And if you do not have some sort of clarity or information, I feel like you you do what it takes. Page of Swords energy. You do what it takes to find the answer for yourself. You are a seeker. You're a seeker of your soul's truth, Libra. So you may have a career in healthcare. This talks about new opportunities. Some of you may be in insurance. I'm getting here wellness, holistic health. Some of you may be in marketing. You may be focusing on a website. I am sensing here uh, beauty, of course. Libra is a lover of all things beauty. So some of you may even be changing up your office space, your environment. There is something here with, okay, um, aesthetics aesthetic. So you're changing things around to make it more personable or make it more creative or make it more inviting. So whether this is, you know, an office, a storefront, it could even be, even if you're in a cubicle, Libra, and you don't have tons of space, there's still something here that you are putting up. And I'm also getting a quote so I don't know what the quote is, but I feel like you are either putting up a picture or there could be a specific quote. Uh, also, this could be a company uh, phrase, a company logo, or a company, uh, what is that called here? There's just something with your company... Um, statement, like a company statement, some of you are really diving into. I'm also sensing there could be help, administrative help, someone maybe an intern, uh, this could be a friend. I'm getting a couple of names here. I'm getting the name here, Cheryl, Sharon or Sharice. Uh, there could be a little bit of twist on the end of that name, but I am getting the, the share part in the beginning here. So please take that as it resonates. Sharon, Cheryl, Sharice, that's coming in quite strong. I feel like there is a powerful new opportunity. If that is your name or if that's someone around you, there's something shifting here big. I also feel for some of you, you may be deciding to go with a new company. You may get an offer. You may get approached. You may get headhunted. You may work with someone who sees your talent, Libra, and they want you to come on board. So there could be a contract being signed here this month as well. Now, in the near future, you have the tower, but this tower is about earning power. It's about building a business. And there you have sound decisions. So there is a decision that you are going to make, whether it is in the corporate world or whether you are an entrepreneur. It is a decision based on your soul's truth, based on, uh, I'm getting here, wealth, power, and prestige. So you could even be meeting or setting up a meeting with someone of high prestige. This person could be high on, you know, high on the totem pole. Maybe it's a boss of a company. It could be a CEO. It's someone who maybe has a very high reputation. Uh, this could be you as well, but I am getting here and this has come up for another sign as well. It may have been Leo. Some of you may have Leo in your chart, uh, or you may be affiliated with a Leo. If so, you may want to check out that reading. But I am getting here uh, prestige. So you're being noticed, you're being recognized, but you're also in the likes of other people who maybe share your same common interests. They may have and share the skills and talents that you have, and they see they see the potential in you as well. And it's not just potential; it's something that you can tap into and you have tapped into here Libra where maybe it's been unstable in the past but I am getting some sort of uh, connection here there's there's a coming together I'm getting strong lovers energy but I also feel here union a unified possibly even the six of Pentacles you're you're you have a second chance there could be a fool or judgment card coming in let's dive into your reading and see what is on the menu for the month of august when it comes to wealth money career and finances what do we have here for libra please eight of swords Eight of Swords says, don't self-doubt yourself. Now, this is powerful here, Libra, because sometimes when we get in the presence of, for example, let's say you were able to meet your, your role model. And this role model may be famous and they may be someone who you've looked up to for so long. But when you get in their presence, 
uh, your your knees weaken and your heart flutters and your hands get sweaty and you just kind of lose all that self-confidence, right? There's something here with you being able to exude confidence. There's something here with you not doubting yourself. Sometimes when you're put on the spot or you're asked questions, maybe you're going in for an interview, maybe you are going to an event where you are networking and people are asking about you. Libra, you are that social butterfly. You are able to hone in on those skills and those talents. So when the Eight of Swords shows up as your overall energy, it's saying don't self-doubt yourself because typically, when the Eight of Swords shows up, they are bound by, you know, a, a blindfold. And typically there is some sort of a loose rope over their hands. And I've even seen cards where they're wrapped in toilet paper. So what that means is it's a soft out. So you have what it takes to just break away, break free from any of those limiting beliefs or anything that holds you back. You're going to return to your sense of confidence here. Libra, if you felt like you were restricted in any way, if something was challenging you or if there was doubt that you would get that job or you get to meet with those people or your business is going to grow, whatever that self-doubt was, I feel here that the Eight of Swords is showing up in your main energy because you are returning to a place of confidence. Because sometimes as we navigate through life here on earth, you know, the ego can take over, fear takes over, we have limiting beliefs, there's so many factors that play into effect here when it comes to self-doubt in the solar plexus region, but you are returning to confidence. You know you're good at what you do, but for whatever reason, you were second guessing it. It could be because the, you were rejected from an offer that you thought you had in the bag. Perhaps you, someone said something to you that really... Sh you know, it didn't sit well. It, it was hurt, hurtful. It was negative. It was challenging. But I do feel here for you, you're getting your, your ducks in a row or in this case, your eggs in a basket here. But I feel like you're not putting all your eggs in one basket because you see here that there's a golden opportunity here for you, but I feel like there is more than one. So a lot of you Librans have brilliant ideas. You are quite uh, funny, quite inventive, quite creative. You have what it takes to go in any which direction. But the thing with, you know, airy uh, Librans is sometimes we have so many of these ideas that we have a hard time focusing on just one and bringing it down to earth. So I sense your challenge, which is what, what we're looking into now here. I sense your challenge is picking something from the pool of Libra's brilliant mind and creativity and bringing it down to earth and focusing on going in that direction. It could be setting intentions. It would be a really powerful day, 8-8 eight, eight portal to create a vision board, set new intentions, work with even the new moon and the full moon. I'm a huge fan of the moon cycles, uh, but also to work with other like-minded individuals, take a class Libra, learn something online. It could be face-to-face -face or online, but let's take a look at the challenge. There's the two of cups. So remember earlier we talked about the partnership. I was getting that lover's energy. Well, this is the next best thing here is partnerships. This is two of cups, perfect harmony coming together. Libra, when you feel off kilter, off balance, and your scales are tipping a little bit in one way, it can really throw you off track. And I do sense here there was something that threw you off track in the past, but you're getting back in control of what you can control, right? We can't control someone else's actions, someone else's words, what they're going to say, what they're going to do but we can control how we respond. And I feel like you have a heightened sense of awareness this month. Your intuition is on point. It wouldn't surprise me to see the high priestess. I'm getting empress energy for you as well. But the two of cups in your challenge is needing to reflect on what is causing you to, to self-doubt yourself. Whether you aren't trusting your intuition and maybe that's because you were told that you were weird or that you were, you know, judged or criticized. I'm kind of getting that energy of, uh, you know, and this is interesting. I'm trying to think. It just came up in another reading. It may have been Leo's as well. Uh, it may have been Leo's because in the King of uh, Queen of Wands, typically in the Queen of Wands card, there is a, a black cat. And that black cat can sometimes uh, be feared, right? Uh, ostracized. So when we 
we dabble into our intuition or our magic or our manifestation. Sometimes other people look at it and they say, well, she's a witch or she's woo woo or she's too far into this metaphysical or she's too far down the rabbit hole. I feel like you have been singled out for sometimes your skills and talents and that has caused you to hold back a little bit, Libra. Spirit doesn't want you to hold back any longer. Don't second guess your gifts. Don't second guess your abilities. If you are in a spiritual practice or any practice for that matter, don't hold back because you fear people judging you or not accepting you. That is coming in really strongly here. Okay, thank you. I'm getting the name Susie or Suzanne. Now, Two of Cups, reflect on what's working and what's not. If you are in some sort of a union or partnership or even a friendship or collaboration when it comes to business, when it comes to wealth or finances, double check to make sure that there is flow between the both of you. If you are working with a professional, let's say you're working with uh, a bank manager uh, on a loan or you are working with maybe a client, perhaps you are working with a coworker or a boss, if there is not reciprocity, respect and equal flow, take a look and see why that might be and what you can do about it or possibly how you could just do your thing from a distance. Two of cups here. There could be some sort of separation uh, coming in here for you. Some of you are separated or disconnected from your work. You may not feel as motivated as you would like to, Libra. And I feel because some of you may be focused on maybe having a little more fun in the month of August. If that's the case, that is absolutely A-OK. -okay. You deserve it. And we shouldn't I believe, I'm a big believer, and we shouldn't have to work and work and work and work our lives away. Set healthy boundaries, have fun, spend time with your family, get out there and enjoy nature, go for a walk, spend some time reconnecting with you, right? You should be your own best friends. And I feel like it's important to connect, of course, with other people as well, but who you surround yourself with is very, very important. So if some of you are surrounding yourself with people who just carry a negative energy or they're Debbie Downer or negative Nancy, I feel like, and no offense, if you're you know a Nancy or a Debbie here but I do feel like there's some sort of disconnect and it's important for you to realign this month but that may happen more towards mid to end of August now let's take a look at what's showing up in the deep deep past what do we have for Libra please deep deep past all right Okay, thank you. Who is this? Timothy. There's someone's grandfather, I believe grandfather coming in. I Possibly their name could be Timothy. I mean, that could be you. It could be someone around you as well. It doesn't have to be grandfather, but I do feel like there's a specific message coming in from someone's grandfather, Timothy, uh, saying how proud they are of you as well. This could even be great grandfather. You may not have even met this person. Please take that as it resonates. Very proud. There's a sense of keep on going, Libra. You've achieved great things. A sense of pride here for you. All right, death card. Necessary endings, Libra. There was a necessary ending in your deep past. So this could be... 10 years ago, it could even be 10 months ago, but it's still very much present in your everyday decision-making uh, abilities here. This is something that you know because you've been through it, you know when you need to get out of something. And the beautiful thing about this is you're not gonna stick around or stay in a position that feels disconnected. And for some of you, if this is your own inspiration or your own intuition, I feel like you have gone through enough spiritual awakening to pull, pull yourself back up out of a situation to, to find the balance within your scales here. There was a necessary ending that you may have resisted. For some of you, this could be showing up again in your world where there's some sort of ending, but something's the reason why is because it's come full circle. So again, you're branching off like the, the branches here on this tree. There's something you're branching off, but you're not starting necessarily from scratch. You've already set a firm, strong, solid foundation a strong core in the earth here. And I feel like you're up here, but you may just decided to go a different direction here. You may branch off and do something new. So for example, perhaps you are in a spiritual practice. Let's say you've uh, attained your Reiki 
certification and you say, I really love doing energy work on people, but now I want to branch off and do tarot readings. I can still do my energy work, but I want to incorporate tarot cards into the mix. And let's say you've already hit that peak. You may say, well, I really want to work with uh, hypnosis and I want to dive into that category as well. So there is an energy here of you branching off based on something you've already kind of set into motion here, Libra. But I feel like you've had this death energy here, which is a total transformation. This is rebirth, spiritual growth, transition. But there's something that is reminding you from the deep, deep past not to resist some sort of change because we hang on. We may say, well, I don't really want to branch off and, and do hypnotherapy because I won't get any clients and maybe I, I don't want to do that. We start to second guess and that's what spirit does not want you to do this month. So let's take a look here at the recent past and what's showing up for you in the recent past, the moon. So some uncertainties, right? Some shadowed illusions. I feel the moon showing up here. I'm getting the reversal side. Intuitively, this is all about illusions being revealed. You're able to see the truth of a situation here, Libra. You're able to see any red flags or you're able to see that it's not in alignment with your soul's uh, purpose and you decided to shift that energy. And some of you are still in the midst or in the throes of shifting that energy in order to move on to something new. Uh, for others of you, I mean, this tower, typically I don't feel the energy of the tarot tower. This can be about making sound decisions. It more so to me is about uh, freedom. You making powerful, powerful decisions that are going to help lead towards your financial freedom, emotional freedom, physical freedom, whatever that may look like for you. But in the past here, you may have felt like you were stuck in some sort of illusion. You had the blindfold on, right? And this that's something that you still may feel. This was heavier in the past. And even though your energy is the Eight of Swords, this blindfold is sheer. This blindfold is something that she can easily take off because typically it's just an illusion that she's looking at anyway with the Eight of Swords. It is about feeling trapped or restricted within your own mind. Typically, it can be the card of self-sabotage, Libra. So don't sabotage uh, your success, your happiness, your joy, your abundance, or don't allow other people to do that to you as well. Remember, we can't control other people. The only thing we can control is our own response. And I feel it's important for you to separate yourself from those people that threaten or sabotage or are jealous or project right? Let's take a look. Let's get to the good juicy part of your reading. Now that we know what's going on in the past, let's see what you're manifesting because I feel good about your manifestations here. What are you bringing down to earth? What are some of those ideas that you can bring to reality here? Six of swords, you're getting out of dodge, getting out of a situation that may have been less than ideal. For some of you, it was a day ordeal. For others of you, this is weeks, years, months, whatever it may be for you, it was sticky, it was challenging, it was difficult. There is needed change. And isn't this interesting? Because we have the death card below you and above you, there is something that needed to change. And I feel like you're ready and this is happening. The month of August, this is absolutely happening for you where yes, there was reluctancy because you couldn't see and you like to plan Libra. You like, we all as humans, we like to know ahead. If we didn't, you wouldn't be here watching these tarot readings, right? We like to plan. We like to uh, expect the unexpected. We like to not be scared, right? We want to plan for these things, but ultimately, we kind of just got to go with the flow and take things as they come instead of worrying too far into the future and having anxiety or focusing too far in the past and having depression, right? It's about staying in the moment. And I feel like that's what August is teaching you to do. Even though the Six of Swords is about getting out of something that was challenging, I feel like the lesson here for you may have been focusing on what's right in front of you, focusing on staying in the present. There's change coming in. You are heading towards, I mean, he is looking 
And this is really beautiful. He has this child on his shoulders. And even though she may be looking back, he's not. He's saying, uh, we're getting out of here. There's sharks below the surface and I need to protect us. So some of you could be protecting your own inner child. For others of you, I feel like you are opening yourself up to dreaming and being what you've always wanted to be because I am getting strong inner child vibes. Some of you, you literally are making a decision for your family, for your children to move forward. Sixes are all about solving problems. And even though it's not the lover's energy, which is the six, I am getting here loyalty, responsibility, and harmony, which carries that vibration of six. And as I said that, I see an 06 on the clock. So some of you may see sixes a lot in the month of August. You may see 666. Uh, don't let that scare you, right? You could see uh, movement moving forward. I feel like that's a reminder, uh, six not to repeat some sort of a you know a lesson or to go back to a past energy which i don't feel like you ever would want to anyway it could be a pattern libra it could be a limiting belief it could be the old way of doing something that's not going to serve you if anything what that would do is just uh, limit the other branches from growing and you don't want that to happen you want to have a nice lush green environment for you to thrive and grow from Let's see what's happening in the near future. We know that you're getting out of anything that holds you back, anything that limits you, threatens you, or fear-based energies. But let's see what you are, well, let's see what's coming in here in the near future for Libra. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is fierce. She is determined. Libra, she is all in. You have made a decision or you are going to make a decision where you say, yes, I'm all in beautiful. You're not conforming. You are living life by your rules. Uh, and it's not in a way of I'm, I'm rebelling and going against the grain. In a sense, you may feel like you are, or you may be, but I feel like it's a trailblazer energy. You are a trailblazer. And this has come up for you so many times in the past where you're forging your own path forward and people actually see you as, you know, an all in force. Whoa, Libra has what it takes. Libra is just killing it here in their career, right? Or Libra is moving forward and they are the, the, epitome here of change. They are a force to be reckoned with. The seven of wands is saying here, you're not going to lose your courage. If anything, you're gaining it back with the with the eight of swords and with the seven of wands. This is about you being all in instead of Instead of going back and forth like a teeter-totter, instead of letting those scales, Libra, kind of go this way and this way and this way, and then you get stuck in that, and that can be really challenging at times. You're saying, you know, I'm just going to make a decision. I'm sticking with it. I'm doing it, and I'm going to complete this task if it takes everything out of me, right? Seven of Wands here is about standing up for your beliefs. It is about defending your, your morals, your rights, your beliefs. This, and this came up for you not long ago as well. Uh, you're something about your human rights, Libra. So, wow, you're still carrying this energy of strength, determination, and freedom. Sevens represent inner awareness, insight, wisdom. We are in a seven global year, 2023 equals seven. So this is a really powerful time for you to have the upper hand, live life on your own terms, Libra, and non-conform. Because someone may be saying, Libra, this is what you should do. That's where you should go. You may have the world, your family, your friends uh, telling you that that's the best choice for you. Well, they don't know. They're living their own journey, their own soul's journey. They may think they know based on conditioning or experiences that they've been through, but maybe it's worked for them and it's not going to work for you, Libra. You are a force to be reckoned with here. You are a trailblazer. Look at her. She's fierce. She's determined. She's strong. She's independent. She has what it takes to not second guess her skills, her abilities, and her talents. Because in the past, you may have felt offended or defensive or on guard, or maybe you felt the pressure coming in from all angles, right? Maybe you felt people were coming in looking for a fight. You're breaking free from that. And you're saying, uh-uh, I don't want any part of that. I don't want to feel like I'm restricted or trapped. That's why you're breaking free from that eight of swords. This is powerful, Libra. Let's see how you're feeling, even though I feel like this is you here. Let's see how you're doing here. This is all about Libra. What do we need to know? 
All right, we have here some powerful cards. Ace of Swords, here you are. Clarity, breakthrough, truth. This is about you finding solutions with that brilliant mind of yours, Libra. You are an air sign, remember, so you have what it takes to bring your ideas to life. You have what it takes to be that light bulb, have that light bulb moment, that aha moment. This is about a newfound sense of clarity and you have it here. If you felt confused in the past with the moon, if you felt like you didn't have enough information, enough uh, intuition here to move forward, you weren't quite sure, well, you sure are sure now, Libra, because this is all about you cutting through those barriers and having that light bulb moment go off. And there's something that you just know, okay? Ace of Swords is all about coming up with an action plan. There's some sort of truth here, inner truth. There's logic happening, but there is, there's this feeling here of you cutting through any of the barriers. And right, what we talked about in the beginning with the Eight of Swords, she has all of the swords that she needs to cut through any of the barriers. It's her own self at times that holds her back. She has a sheer red blindfold. And if we look behind her there, we can use our imagination. She probably has toilet paper that is holding her hands in place. All she needs to do is break them free. Very easy. Even though, yes, it's easier said than done, of course. But I feel that there is some sort of mental limitation that's holding you back, not any longer. Beautiful. You're breaking free. I see that without a doubt here. So let's see what's showing up in your environment. You have the devil, the devil. Look at her. She looks like she's had a rough night there, doesn't she? She looks like she has her makeup smeared and she's maybe been in the club for five days straight. The devil energy is about breaking free from limitations. The devil can be temptations, addictions, obsessions, fears, codependency, manipulation, materialism. She's gone it rough, right? She's had it rough a little bit here. The devil is all about releasing those indulgences. Instead of destructive indulgences, patterns, beliefs, or even behaviors, Libra, you're no longer wanting to self-destruct or feel the impact of other people trying to control you. No, who wants that? None of us do. But yet every single day we are walking around feeling controlled by the devil energy, right? This is something you're saying no to. This could be leaders, right? I'm not getting into a political reading here, but this could be Things that feel like they're outside of our control, right? They're a game piece in the matrix. And I feel like you're telling yourself, I'm living life on my terms. That's why you have this uh, Ace of Swords showing up. That's why you have the Seven of Wands. You're breaking through and you're not letting something control you. Something, a person, place, thing, pattern, belief, whatever this devil is, you know what it is, Libra. You have the clarity now. You know what your indulgences are. You know what uh, you need to release. You know that there could be limiting beliefs. You know that there is fear out there, right? We fear and yet we, we still succumb to it. You're, you're releasing that and breaking it off. <laughs> you're breaking it off here with the two of cups. You're saying, you know, I'm not going to sep or I'm going to separate from this because it's just not good. It's holding me back from achieving my greatest dreams, my greatest victory. And you are separating from it here, Libra. So I like this. You're going to start over, even if it feels uh, challenging, or even if you have to take the biggest leap of faith or the biggest risk ever, you're doing it based on trusting that your higher self is taking care of you, source energy, you universe, God, angels, guides, right? Your higher power has your back and is guiding you to head towards this new beginning, right? So in the position here, and both of these kind of got turned around, which is interesting because we have this in your hopes and fears and your outcome energy. So I feel like they are uh, parallel with each other because it's all about what you fear if you're willing to break free from it then there's a huge shift happening. But if you stay in that devil energy, which we do, we stay in that energy longer than we would like, but you have here in your hopes and fears, you have the six of cups. 
The Six of Cups is about cherishing the memories of what's right in front of you, which we talked about, instead of reliving the past. Instead of feeling lost in the past, thinking that things were so much better prior to maybe pre-pandemic or prior when this person was alive or when we worked at the job or even when we were children and maybe and we didn't have to worry about all of our adult responsibilities. The Six of Cups showing up here is saying, don't romanticize the past or get lost in the past or fear that the past is going to creep up and replay itself out in your present. We mentioned this earlier, so not living far in the past or too far into the future, but focusing on what's happening right now. Now, I'm also getting here this energy of inner child, which we mentioned here. Some of you are going back and picking something up that you may have set down and you're, you're doing it again. So for example, you may have started a memoir, a blog, a website, a business, five years ago, five weeks ago, five months ago, you may have put it on hold. This is the month that you say, well, you know, I really want to explore that a little bit more. But for whatever reason, uh, the timing was off or I wasn't able to in the past, I wanna dive into that again and bring it to life. That's what I'm getting here. But you're not gonna focus on the daydreaming and say, well, I wish I would have finished that book back in 1985, right? This is all about you saying, you know, I am going to finish that book. I I am all in and I have the clarity that I need to finish or complete something here that I've set aside or set on hold because what we have as your final outcome for the month of August 2023 is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is the lucky twist of fate. I believe you have created yourself, Libra, this lucky twist of fate because in the past there were unforeseen challenges. It may have felt a little bit off key, off kilter. There may have been a loophole that you were thrown out and mixed in the middle of, left aside, cast off the train, right? And you had your find your way to the train station once again. The Wheel of Fortune is coming in here as a very powerful, powerful, positive, abundant omen. When the Wheel of Fortune shows up, Libra, this is about destiny and fate saying, okay, Libra, here's your turning point. Here is this next cycle. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to repeat the past, right? Are you going to do what you've always done and you're going to get the same results that you really don't want? Or are you going to take a new approach, a new path, a new direction? Are you going to do something different to get different results? And I feel like you are going to choose the latter. You don't want to do something of the past. I see that you are absolutely ready to cut it free. Six of Swords says you're moving on. You're not going to go back to the Five of Swords. No one likes that Five of Swords. That's mental conflict. It's friction. It's, it's destruction. It can be uh, indifference between you and other people. There could be butting heads, uh, arguments, conflict, right? So there's something of the past that may have been challenging you. It could even been self-destruction through your own words. This is about you doing things differently, Libra, and the Wheel of Fortune is bringing you abundance bringing you money, bringing you the chance to invest in yourself and your dreams and your goals and to move forward here abundantly. And because you have this all in attitude, you are going to be highly successful. So this is a really beautiful read here, Libra. I'm loving this for you. Let's take a look and get a few messages from the wisdom of the Oracle. What do we have here for Libra, August 2023, please? Okay, Libra. I'm hearing that some of you are hitting a bigger birthday this year as well, even though you're not bored in August, unless you are cross watching or this is your moon or something of that nature. I do feel here that you may be hitting a very significant number. It could be, you know, the big 5-0 or, you know, 45 or 40. It, it could be a number that's significant to you for some reason as well. I'm also getting this energy here. Now, please take this as it resonates. Some of you may have had a mother or a father uh, or a family member cross over at a specific age, and you may be nearing the age that they crossed over. So there could be a little bit of a, a overlap or a a thought of uh, that coming in from the past. Uh, if that is you here to trust, trust that you are moving forward here and trust that you are connected and you are part of the divine. There's divinity in all things, including the energy of the person who's crossed over. 
You have the buy the book card here, Libra. It's card 11. I'm getting the reversal. I'm going to read you the reversal. I'll read you to you the prosperity as well, but I'm getting here non-conforming, non-conformity because you have that seven of wands. So this is breaking free from the systems, right? This is doing things in a different way, going against the grain, not being the follower, right? Not letting the devil energy control you. This is you being the leader that you are and saying, if you are in the back here, you might go up to the front, even if this leader up here is saying, this is the way that we must go. You, regardless of status, regardless of size, of sex, of race, whatever this is here for you, you are stepping outside and you're saying, I don't want to go this way. This isn't the direction that I belong, that I feel that I'm aligned to. Even if you are solo and you go off on your own, I mean, elephants are very wise. They hold and carry a lot of wisdom. Uh, they they can, you know, travel together here. But I do feel like you are speaking up. You're taking a stance. And there's something here that you're not going to just go by the book with. And you are being guided to take on a different or new approach. That's what I feel here for you. It's card 11. 11 is the justice, which is you. But it's also about bringing balance to your life. And even though it may feel like it's going to strike a imbalance, it's actually what you need to do to bring your soul into some sort of balanced alignment. So let's take a look and see what this means for you, Libra. All right, card 11. Some of you may be born on the 11th. There could be 1111 energy that a lot of you are seeing. This can be abiding by social rules, conforming, respecting cultural or family conditions, and it can be about universal laws. But again, I'm getting the reversal. I don't even know if I want to read the prosperity. Okay, I will read the prosperity because it does have some very good, um, good messages, but I'm also going to read to you that, that reversal. At this time, you can expect a return on your investment. Whatever you have pursued, be it a dream you've long cherished, a skill you've cultivated, or a service you are called to, called to will come to you if you are willing to go by the book. But I'm going to change those words. I'm going to say here, that dream that you have, that long cherished dream, that skill, that service, if you non-conform and go off the beaten path here, Libra, you will be successful. Okay, um, follow in the footsteps of others who have already achieved the things you're striving for, but also don't be afraid to go your own path as well. Use what you've learned and release what, what works, or excuse me, keep what works and release what doesn't is what I'm hearing. You can learn a lot by observing the structures that are working, but if they're not working, go a different path. Okay, your creative projects and commitment to prosperity are in alignment with the needs of the world, but impatience may tempt you to cut corners to get there more quickly. Stick with what you know works and you will attract abundance. So of course, stick with what works, but release the devil energy of what doesn't work so you can implement and incorporate things, new things that do work and will continue to grow in advance. Because if you are still focusing on an old system, Libra, of an old belief or an old way of thinking that just doesn't serve you, it doesn't leave a lot of room for new growth. And remember, we want these branches to bloom. We want this tree to prosper. And so if you need to prune an area that is no longer serving you, then by all means, this is saying here, do it. At least my intuition here and spirit is saying here, go against something, uh, prune it back in order for new growth to, to happen here. Now the protection message. Now is the time for a real change in consciousness. This is the message that I'm feeling intuitively for a lot of you. Now is the time for a change in consciousness as you are incited to revolt. Challenge the structures, Libra, that are limiting authentic progress. It is not enough to rebel in small ways. This is a call to revolution. Focus on what you really want to achieve, regardless of whether it feels so far outside the box that the established order may reject it. Genius, invention, and transformation are rarely comfortable and less likely to be accepted by the mainstream. It may be time for you to say no to the way of your group, take a stand, and make a real change. It could be the structure of your inner world is alerting you to the need for a complete overhaul. This is 
a time for transformation. Hello, death card that's sticking to my elbow, right? You have the death card. And like I said, there's something with this death energy that is showing up above you in order for you to take a stand. And you are, Libra. Let go of the fear of change. Your intuition will lead you through the darkness. There is no turning back now. Trust that light will dawn. Epiphanies will surely lead to miracles. Whew, I just got full body goosebumps because here you are, that epiphany, right? We even I feel like we even said that word epiphany or clarity here is leading to miracles, which we see with the wheel of fortune. So again, I'm going to just go go again, go with my intuition here and say it's time for you to release that system of going with the crowd or by the book and do the opposite, Libra. Do the opposite. Very powerful here. And I think it goes hand in hand with everything we're seeing here in your reading. Let's take a dive into the messages from your spirit animals. Now we're going to open up that third eye chakra by taking a deep belly breath from that solar plexus chakra. So Libra, if you can, please close your eyes and take a nice, big, deep breath. Hold it as long as you can and release through the mouth. One more deep breath in from the solar plexus chakra. Hold it for as long as you can and release through the mouth. Now with your eyes closed, I want you to Tune into that third eye chakra, the area between your eyebrows and your forehead region. And I want you to imagine the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this could be an animal that flies high in the sky. It could be an animal that swims deep in the sea. Your animal may be wild magical, mystical, or even domesticated. This could be an animal that's crossed over the rainbow bridge or one that's visited through your dreams or one that you have currently at your home. There is no right or wrong answer, Libra. And if you need a moment, just pause the video and come back when you are ready. And for those of you that would like to be entered into the free monthly reading giveaway, all you need to do is drop your power animals in the comment section below. And I personally will enter you into that giveaway where I draw one lucky winner around the first of each month and post right back here on the channel. So please make sure you've hit that subscribe and bell button so you don't miss that notification. All right, beautiful Libra. Now we have some signif uh, significant Numbers, you may be born on the 21st, the 24th, or you may be 43 years old or 53 years old. So right away here, I'm loving it, Owl Spirit, you can see clearly, right? Every time this card comes up, that song, I can see clearly now the rain is gone, always shows up. So I feel like you, yeah, Ace of Swords, you can see clearly now. You are able to move forward here in truth in intuition, in business, in uh, you know your career, in your money matters, but there's something that you've become quite aware of and you're able to move forward. There is the, the wise owl here is helping you see things that you weren't able to see before with the moon because they're, because these are nocturnal creatures. They're able to hunt at night. They're, they have this super focused vision. And I feel like that is you here, Libra. You have this super focused vision. You are all in. We have here electric eel. Bring your ideas to life. Yes, bring your ideas to life. There's that light bulb moment. Like I said, you have a brilliant mind. Instead of just thinking about doing something, it's time to bring them to life, Libra. If you've had a dream since childhood or in your 20s, 30s, 40s, maybe you're 80 years old right now and you, you still have this dream of writing a book or opening your own boutique, whatever this is for you, you're never too too old, right? We are here to explore and to adventure and to have the human experience. So by all means, Libra, give yourself permission to have the human experience that your soul wants to have. Bring those ideas down to earth. We have Dove and it says, be peace, be peace. 
21. This is the energy here of more serenity, more calm, more creativity, more downtime, and just being in the energy of unconditional love, Libra. And I feel like this is something that you are striving to bring more of into your world is peace. Card 21. Now, last but not least, you have Seahorse. This says watch and wait because things are going to be unfolding in front of you here. And even though there's a wheel of fortune, there's a twist of fate here, trust that it's working out. Trust that things are moving in your favor. There could be a little bit of time implemented here, but there will be sweet results here at the end. They're at the end of the rainbow, at the end of the tunnel, whatever this is for you, I feel like you are heading and walking into a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness and and a new adventure. A lot of you have undergone a major spiritual transformation and it may have been challenging and it may have been difficult because most of the time they typically are when you go through some sort of a death phase, but it is crucial. It is pivotal on your journey to a higher level of abundance, whatever that abundance may mean for you. Now, last but not least, Libra, let's see which crystal, gemstone, mineral, or fossil you can utilize in the month of August to help you towards your most prosperous path. What do we have here for Libra, please? All right, we have quite a few cards. I'm going to read the one that I feel intuitively called, but I will show you all of them here. We have amethyst. I love amethyst. It's a beautiful stone to work with your intuition, your third eye chakra, your vision. Uh, it is a beautiful stone to help activate your, your vision through seeing it, playing it out, bringing it to reality, connecting with your spirit guides. We have rose quartz. I think I'm going to go with rose quartz because we just talked about peace and unconditional conditional love. So that's the one we'll be reading. We also have here Jade, card 27. We also have card 4, 48, and we have card 1, which is uh, Agerine here. And Spirit's saying here, talk about this because there's something there. I'm not familiar with this crystal myself, but it does look like a very grounding, very uh, healing, very powerful energy here. I hope I'm pronouncing it okay. So we have Amethyst, Jade, Rose Quartz, and Agerine. So I'm going to read the Rose Quartz because that's the one I'm being called, but we'll take a little peek at the other one as well. Rose Quartz is about self-worth, being enough, and it makes perfect sense because that's a little bit of a challenge for you this month is to not second guess your own gifts, skills, talents, and abilities. So you can work with Rose Quartz to hone in on that self-love. Now is the time to be mindful of how quickly you can fall into false beliefs about not being good enough and to take action toward acknowledging your self-worth. Today is a day for loving yourself and recognizing all that is good and beautiful and true about you, Libra. That way you can start to see the many gifts you have, some obvious and some too long hidden from your awareness. Discover the incredibleness of you that the universe knows and loves. Then it will be easier to let go of the old ways of relating to the abundance in the world. You will see that it is yours to enjoy, that you are worthy of the affluence and wealth you seek. Step, step into fully accepting that you deserve a found firm foundation of material wealth. Yes, you absolutely do. So Rose Quartz encompasses all expression of love, including self-love, you know, meditate with this stone and it can help bring in that frequency of love and it can help you push through the barriers here of the Eight of Swords. So I love that that's showing up. And now we're gonna take a look at this Agerine. May even have a little bit of possibly, is it citrine in there? I'm not quite sure. This is about integrity, solidarity, impeccability, reliability, and consistency. So there's going to be a message here for a lot of you Libras. Very important here. You may want to take notes. Now is a time to be unfailing in your adherence to your values. Know where you are willing to bend and where you are not. There's the tree right? The tree has limbs that can bend, but sometimes they do break here. 
Be in touch with what matters most to you, Libra, knowing that abundance takes many forms and will show up in many ways. Be fully present, yes, and impeccable in your financial transactions and dealings. If you have money decisions to make, meditate on what fair looks like. You will have greater clarity about where to make a stand and where a little compromise feels right. Everything we talked about here, taking a stand, seven of wands, being impeccable here with your decisions, which I was getting that strong lover's energy, plus you have the tower, which talks about sound decisions. It talks about clarity, which we see with the Ace of Swords. So really beautiful here. Now, this crystal helps pull us out of our emotions and place us firmly in the well of our strength. When you meditate with this stone, it consists us assist us in showing us how far we have come on our journey. It encourages us to embody all we have learned, hello elephants, and to reclaim our power. Beautiful Libra, I'm loving this reading here for you. Don't self-doubt yourself. New beginnings are taking place here because of total transformational shifts. Don't resist, don't hold back. Again, stand in your power, stand in your confidence. The wheels are spinning here in your favor, I feel. Make sure you love yourself through every piece of it. Don't doubt yourself. Libra, if this reading resonates, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to comment your power animals to be entered into the free reading giveaway. And if you're vibing with the energy of the channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe and bell button. Thank you so much for spending your precious time here, Libra. Lots of love.